Good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, my name is Maya and I'm going to be taking over IT Costa Rica's Instagram stories today. It's about 7.45 a.m. in Costa Rica. I've already been up for about two hours. Um, a lot of people tend to get up early here. Um, my host mom gets up around 5 or so, so I was up and I had breakfast with her um, and I've been getting ready for school. So before I head over to class, I just wanted to share a little bit about myself. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Toronto, Canada, and um, my journey here to Costa Rica has, well, for me, it's been quite something. Um, so in my undergrad, I studied French, Spanish, and German. Um, I've always been a lover of languages, especially Spanish, hence Costa Rica as a prime location for me to do this course. And um, after that, I, I studied marketing, worked in marketing, and realized that it wasn't my passion. And it wasn't until I moved over to New Zealand that I realized, well, um, this isn't quite it. And I started researching and looking around, and I stumbled across um, teaching English um, and doing the TEFL certificate previously, but never went through with it. Um, so I started looking into it again, and I realized, wow, this is definitely what I need to do. Um, I've learned other languages and now this is the chance for me to finish off that thought. I just realized um, that I've learned other languages and now this is the chance for me to share English, uh, my native language, with other people who would like to learn it. Um, that being said, there's other um, opportunities that come with um, teaching English abroad. I mean, the traveling, the um, experiencing and living in new places. I mentioned before that I love Spanish, so I knew I wanted to come to a place where I can practice it. Um, and Costa Rica has always been um, one of the locations that I'd really like to visit in my mind. I also had a friend out here, so that made it a bit easier for me. Um, but naturally, I started looking into the different schools in um, to do a TEFL. Um, yeah, so naturally I started looking into the different schools out here in Costa Rica um, to do the TEFL certificate, and yes, it is very overwhelming. There are so many different um, schools, different programs, different locations, just in Costa Rica alone. Um, so I definitely recommend doing your research, but um, in my experience, uh, ITA definitely stood out. Um, and one of the things that helped it stand out for me were these Instagram takeovers. So it just made me feel um, a lot more comfortable knowing from other people that uh, what exactly to expect, what they're going through, how they feel about it. Um, so I'm glad that I'm here now and I'm able to do these Instagram takeovers and you know maybe help someone else with their decision. So I usually have a 15 minute walk to school um, from where I live with my host family but it is raining this morning and I lost my umbrella so I'm gonna be an Uber ting today but um, it's a really nice area and um, it's like a complex but um, maybe later I can show you bits of the town um, and you know what's funny I'm on week 4 day 3 and this is the first time I've decided to take an Uber to school because of the rain even though it's the rainy season it's not usually this heavy or this much and if it is raining it's a little bit of a drizzle and you could get by but also I wanted to show you behind me there's like a Zumba, Zumba class so I think every Tuesdays, Tuesday evening, there's Zumba in the park, and then there's different locations like this one. So it's something that you could do outside of class, de-stress, and enjoy yourself. So I've arrived at the school. Again, it's hard to show you right outside because it's raining. Um, but this is the entrance. Straight ahead is where the teachers like to hang out and have lunch and whatnot, but it's also one of the classrooms. Then we have one of the big classrooms here with some people who are here early before class. And then we have my favorite, Jolana. Buenos dias. Yes. She's such a, so, such a sweet lady. She's here in the morning. And then we also have everyone's favorite, as everyone always says in the Instagram takeovers, the outdoor area. <laughs> Again, raining so the hammock's not out, but it's it's really nice and everyone loves to be outside and all right so it's post lunch time and today we actually have a chunk of time dedicated to working on whatever we need to so we got everyone in here spread out working on what they need to including lesson plans or other tasks they need to catch up on um, I think we got some people outside as well. 
We also have another classroom back here. <laughs> Getting your work done, Anna. I am. Oh, there's Brandon. <laughs> and um, in this room here, we usually have uh, the teachers like Melanie. Say hi, Melanie. Hi. And Brittany. And they're always available to help us out. Um, so I chose to go to Costa Rica, a lot of um, beautiful biodiversity. Uh, also, I wanted to be able to use my Spanish, so I knew that I wanted to come to a Latin American country, and so I chose Costa Rica. Alright, and so the reason that I came to ITA Costa Rica specifically um, was actually because I wanted to be in a location where the weather was pretty mild. Um, because it is really hot at the beach. At the beach yeah. So um, I am happy to be in the Central Valley. I really like it. Um, and I also saw that it has really good reviews, so I decided to go with them. And how has the course been? So uh, it's super intense. It's I agree, it's super really intense. intense. But it's week four, we've yes. gotten through it. A um, couple more things left, like the grammar exam and a um, couple practicums. Yes. And Tasks, but, but you will feel prepared. Yes. You will feel for sure. prepared. <laughs> okay, so actually we just want to talk about some tips for the course. Um, first and foremost, time management is yes. so key. Yes. I heard it in the previous um, Instagram takeovers and trust me it rings true. I'm gonna say it again. Sarah's gonna say it. Stay on top of your work. Yeah, you need to manage your time. I'm a procrastinator. And I learned very early on that I had to get stuff done early because there's just so much. There's so many tasks to get done. And, it, and, and four weeks is such a short amount of time. You have a lot to do. There's no time to really, um, there is no time to procrastinate. And um, if you do, it will snowball into who knows what. You don't want to deal with that. So just stay on yes, top of your work. get on it. Yeah. And yeah, honestly with that, we're not trying to scare anybody. It's just, it is what it is. Um, manage your time, but also take the time to enjoy yourself. There's Zumba, there's soccer, there's salsa classes, there's cooking classes. So you'll find something to do. All right, so since it's not raining anymore, I'm just gonna show you the outside of the school. Okay, see the entrance here. And right inside in the front, we have Karin. She's always here to greet you. She'll help you when you need to print anything for the class, um, before you go to get copies and all that fun stuff. Time for a change of scenery. To this cute little cafe. And <laughs> I know I'm not the only one here. <laughs> so it's 9 p.m. but the day is not over. Every Wednesday there's soccer, football, a lot of past ITA students um, come out, current ones. So you got a whole community here every Wednesday. A little friendly is here. football. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Yeah, Charlie. All right, guys. It's almost 11 p.m. Soccer's done, and everyone's at the bar now. Finishing out the night. The new teachers, the old teachers. So we're just at a bar here in the corner, um, actually close to the school, but this is it for me. Thanks for watching today. Um, I hope I answered your questions or thoughts or concerns. If not, I'm going to add my handle. Please reach out to me if you have any questions and yeah. So yeah, good night and hope to see you in Costa Rica.